mess. So you'll see on a video that I've recently just posted um, that I've been doing some work in the polytunnel mm. today. Well, I'm also starting to do the weekly vlogs. So this one included full week because it's actually Thursday today and this will go out on Tuesday. But even so, it's nice to capture what I'm doing. Um, and I wanted to include some of the things that we're eating from the, um, from the plot as well. So today, or tonight, I'm doing um, like a sausage and courgette pilaf dish. Um, but I'm actually deciding to replace the rice with vegetables, so it's not a pilaf at all, actually. But anyway, so I'm going to get the broccoli out of the polytunnel, take a look at some of the courgettes. They might be a little bit too small because um, I want them to, to grow on a little bit and get some collard greens as well out of the polytunnel to go towards tea. Browsers. actually going to take some of the leaves off the broccoli plant as well I'll just cut the stem out and we'll just cook those down there's only three of us for tea tonight and the three plants with three decent sized broccoli pieces on it. <sighs> so there you go, we'll be getting one each. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to be taking is some leaves off. Sorry, you're wobbling again. Leaves off these. Just out the leaves. Probably just one off each plant. And then it won't miss it. They just literally, they just snap off really cleanly. And these are great looking leaves actually. So again, I'll take the stem out, chop them up, shred them and just wilt them down with some other vegetables or some bacon. It's Friday evening and we've had an early tea because we're getting a sheep sheared tonight and we weren't sure what time the shearer is coming. Um, they don't tend to give a specific time and so usually on a Friday at this time of the year I spend some time with my tomatoes <laughs> so I'm currently in the greenhouse with the tomatoes and the peppers and this is where I go around water them all um, the ones that have got tomatoes on them which some of them have I'll give a water with uh, some tomato feed I'm going to be making some of my own comfrey feed um, tonight all being well depending on what time the shearer gets here and I need to sort my peas out too. Um, but first of all, I'm going to give the ones that have got no tomatoes on them just water with the hose pipe. The ones in the terracotta pot dry out a lot quicker than everything else. The terracotta is obviously porous and soaks a lot of the water as well. But as you can see, we use anything for pots around here. This is an old grooming box for the horses. Hi, it's Saturday. It's Saturday afternoon now. I'm normally in the garden first thing on a Saturday, but not today. And last night our sheep shoe returned up um, just after I started filming and doing the tomatoes and things. So I didn't get anything else done in the garden last night. So we, um, so I still have the rhubarb and the peas to, to um, fence up, to string up, whatever you call it, that I wanted to get done. So the rhubarb here hasn't yet been picked, as you can see, it's a, becoming a bit of a, a triffid. Um, so that needs picking today. I need to start off by stringing the peas up. And there's just a million other jobs. Tidy up this little bit. There's lots and lots and lots of things that I need to get done. My biggest time that I get in the veg plot is a Saturday and a Sunday, because uh, both Stephen and I work full time. And he's actually at work now, due in soon. So I'm going to get on with that. 
and see how we get on. There's two beds um, with peas in. The peas are in the middle row. Oh, oh my God, I'm dropping the cans. The peas are in the middle row of this bed and I'm going to put canes in there along with some string along, give these good water. And in the other bed, the canes are already there, they just need extra string on. They've had a good drink now, those peas, and I'm actually just getting some more string because I'm going to put another line on because I have a feeling that they'll, they'll fly up again um, and I'm going to have to be feeding them through and ideally you want them to be getting hold of the string as they're going so that you're not having to wrap them around yourselves. So I'm just going to quickly do that now so it's got another line and then I'll get on with the asparagus bed. I'm forgetting I've got this bed to do as well before I start the asparagus weeding. So in this bed we've got, um, I think there's six broad bean plants at the front. They're okay, they don't really need these arches, but they're there just in case. So we do get a lot of strong winds. And then these guys at the back, this is Monge 2 and on the other side is Alderman. Um, so these are obviously your Monge 2 variety and those are your just typical... <laughs> Kids are in the pool, sorry. Um, typical English growing pea you know what I mean just a standard pea or also known as Victorian colossal climbing so these guys look to be in a bit of a mess I'm going to try and thread some string through just to give them something to climb up not sure how that's going to work now look at it we'll see does it look any smaller yet <laughs> believe it or not I've picked loads oh god I'm falling over it I'm going to chop the leaves off and get this tuck inside there's a good few kilos worth here of rhubarb and then that's me done for saturday that's it <clears throat> that's it i've got the salad picked i'm gonna go and quickly throw some other items with it to have a nice salad and we're off to eat out tonight Welcome to Sunday. It's 9.30 in the morning and it's already about 20 degrees. So I'm sitting in the shade and I'm gonna put these little guys on here. Um, we've got some purple sprout and broccoli. We've got some bell star, are they broccoli as well? I can't remember, I'll have to check. And some green headed broccoli. Um, that might be a cabbage. I'll check and I'll show you in a minute. But these guys are gonna go in where the potatoes and onions come out. And it's about time that they get potted on. This should have probably been potted on potted on a while ago i just haven't got around to it yet so today is the perfect day it's um gonna be absolutely boiling throughout today so i don't plan on doing any work in the veg plot but it's looking well um although a few of the onions have actually started to bolt um in this bed here shallots and onions so i think i need to give those a water and with the sprinkler which is unfortunate but yeah nice peaceful morning Excuse the crows, it sounds like some sort of horror movie at the moment, but anyway, this is purple sprouting broccoli. It's the claret, um, which I saw, when did I saw it? 10th of May, um, and this is getting planted. You can see, so I've just taken them out in one big clump. They're getting planted up to the, the first true leaves. So I'll get rid of these um, first seedling leaves and uh, plant them quite deep. So they become good strong plants and it'll buy me a little bit of time to keep them in the pots until I get them in the ground. Uh, purple sprout and broccoli is one of the plants that I'll pop in um, to take us through for the, the what you call the hungry gap. So when there isn't that much growing next year, we'll, we'll have hopefully plenty of purple sprout and broccoli. 
Hi, welcome to Monday. So I'm going to be closing this vlog out tonight so that I can edit it to go live tomorrow night on the new schedule. Um, but tonight, firstly, I'm going to harvest these potatoes here. There are four swift seed potatoes in this bin. Couldn't think of a name. And um, we're going to have some of them for tea and I'm hoping there's going to be enough to give us a good few meals um, rather than just one meal. Otherwise, it's not really going to work out too well. So let's see what that looks like now. So I'm actually going to empty it out onto this bed here because the soil in it is terrible. I have to do with any extra, oh God, oh, any extra goodness that we can get in it. This is the strawberry bed. These are some of our spares that we've just put in here. Okay. There's holes in all the bottom of my potato bins. And this is a mix of multi purpose compost and rotted old horse manure beddings. <gasps> Do you know, searching for potatoes never gets old. Like, never, ever, ever. Sea potato? No. <laughs> right. probably have gone on a little bit longer to be honest there's, these have been in for about I think they went in on the 18th of February they were due a long time ago but they got nipped by the frost and um, even though I started them off in the greenhouse they still got I, I put them out a little bit too early with the crazy year that we've had here we've had lots of cold weather through April and then May was just ridiculously wet Squishy. Right. Every little helps or counts. Right, just put this tipped up now. Oh my god, that's still heavy. Wow, there's loads of worms. I'm gonna come in a bit closer. Get him face down. So this is four seed potatoes worth. And you know what? In this this year, I'll be glad just to get anything. I've, I've struggled with different things with potatoes. That's the label to remind me. Swift. But I hadn't forgotten, which I'm surprised at. So it's not a massive haul by any means. None of the first earlies have been. But like I say, with the weather that we've had, I'll take anything. There's a couple of meals there at least, and they look, apart from that one, a little bit of scab on that one, but they look good. Oh, missed one. Oh, missed more. And then I'll just spread this out, and it just adds a bit of a top layer. So there, okay, so... There we have it. <laughs> Slightly poor results of four seed potatoes, but given that we are in the middle of June, we're only wanting kind of salad potatoes anyway. We're not having stew and mashed potatoes and things like that. So this will do as well for a good couple of meals. I'm gonna get those took inside and cleaned up. So you'll be forgiven for wondering what on earth this is all about. It's Monday evening now, I've been in, made the tea and got all of the stuff in from the garden that we needed and I need to get this first vlog episode wrapped up. So essentially what I thought I'd do is um, start running a weekly episode, if you like, of our kitchen garden. So Tales from the Kitchen Garden. 
um might be a bit of a mouthful but i quite like it and just show you what's going on every week on our different vegetable plots where we're growing our own for our family of four here in the northeast of england and show you sometimes how i'm working with the food in the kitchen what's going on in the garden or in the veg plots not the garden the garden's kind of a back garden here uh, locally but in the veg plots um what seeds we're sowing what we're harvesting what we're preserving generally just what life is like for us who are looking to be as self-sufficient as we can be in our own vegetables we know any of that at the moment by the way but this is just the journey of our life and tales from the kitchen garden so every tuesday i'm planning on releasing the episodes at six o'clock gmt so 1800 hours and um just on a tuesday because that gives me time to record saturday sunday close it out monday do a little bit of editing and get it scheduled for a tuesday so that's the only reason for the tuesday and each week every week we can expect a new episode showing what the like what life's like in this kitchen garden all year round so i'm not too sure of the format yet um I just wanted to get started basically because if you sit around and think about these things you you might you risk never getting started so if you've made it this far well done first of all because that's just a feat in itself uh, listening to me rambling on and uh, with my lacking editing skills at the moment um as of today we've got something like 459 subscribers need to really increase our youtube subscriber count so if you would like to see what's going on in the kitchen garden every 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 day every week of the year from now on until whenever then um please subscribe to the channel and give the videos a like if when you're watching them if you like them of course and the best way that i can engage with you is in the comments below so please um drop me a comment in the comments below for those of you that are here for from a small holding perspective obviously growing your own is a massive part of the small holding um but we will also be releasing other small holding related videos as well so don't worry about that they're still coming but some people might just be here for the kitchen garden side of things so i'd like to cater for everybody as, as everybody that's has similar interests to us anyway um we've got some canning videos coming up so that's going to be fantastic now we've got our camp chef store camp chef stove um, so we're doing outdoor canning and we've also got a meat bird series coming up that'll be a few weeks out yet because we're recording it every week so that people can see what life's like when you're growing your own um, meat as well as vegetables um, lots of different content coming up but at the moment the one that will be scheduled every Tuesday is this one the Tales from the Kitchen Garden this is episode one I can't wait to get started with episode two I'll speak to you soon. Thank you for listening.